What up brothers, it's Uncle Clipper returning for a really quick pre-review video on this badass piece I've received today. As you can see, it's the Art Figures Special Armoured Cop. <coughs> Dread. I don't know uh, I don't know what we're calling it, because I don't know if we're supposed to be protecting the likeness. I don't know. Uh, I can't think they'd be too strict about it because of the name on the badge. And also, I have got uh, a stand with a custom decals by Joe Turner. So they're pretty much going to suss out who it's supposed to be. And I think the helmet gives it away anyway. But I just wanted to show you, before I review it, there were one thing when I saw the early shots that sort of bugged me a little bit more than anything else. It was, I didn't like the bald head sculpt, obviously, but with the helmet on, it does look awesome, I've got to say. The uh, proportions look shit hot. So the main niggly nitpick that I had with it were the gloved hands. I never think gloved hands really work. I prefer sculpted gloved hand. But because of how these gauntlets work with the arm computer, you're pretty much stuck with them. So I wanted to do something with that. And also, the shoulder armour. I'm sure in the film or in bits of the film, the shoulder armour is as gold as the dread badge. But here, as you see, you've sort of got mixed gold. You've kind of got the really bright gold on the belt buckle, on the top of the uh, helmet then that's a little less so gold and then as you can see the shoulder armor even less so now if i just bring it around a touch in fact i'll turn it, do. I'll turn it on i'll show you the figure just got him posed pretty much uh, straight up and down just to show you he's a really really nice piece and awesome value for money to be honest and i would think most people like i said have got it or they're going to have it over the next few days because obviously it's out and it's shipping all over so you have got a nice figure to look forward to but i don't want to give you too many thoughts away because the review will be coming soon but what i wanted to say is and if i show you when this comes round like i said the gold is not gold enough for me now if i can just show you here if you're looking at the the sort of segments of the eagle on his arm, you see the central crest here is a little bit golder than the wings and this area. Now I've just done that, I was like touching it up and I was thinking, how can I do it? Do I go and get some gold acrylic paint or I don't know, do I do like a gold wash just or a dry brush so it just catches the, uh, the raised sections or is there another way to do it? Now I actually found in the house, I do own a gold sharpie so all i did is because of the uh the size of the nib on this pretty much matches these sections all i did with the nib is just go down it and then wipe it with things so it don't look like it's got felt tip on it as you see the central piece it is golder than the rest but it still looks like it's a battered gold so to speak sort of like the badge you can see it's got the the sort of the darker sections the uh, the laid away sections and then the race sections are really standout gold. That is what I'm going to do on that shoulder section and that shoulder section. I'm going to do it in this video uh, and then when I review it, it will be as I want it. Also, I will say the gloves I've already done, these straps sort of around here, there is Velcro on them. But when you close the Velcro, it doesn't nip into the wrist peg tight enough for me. And so there's no real, there's no distinction point between the hand and then the gauntlet. It just looks really, really baggy. So what I did is I pulled the, the strap as tight as it would go. And then on the underside, I have actually glued the strap together. So it will always stay that tight. That's what I've done. I were contemplating swapping out the hands for some sculpted gloved hands, but I don't think... There's going to be a good way of doing that, but keeping the uh, forearm computer. So I'm sticking with gloves. I've put them onto the hands as tight as I can. And then, like I said, I've pulled the cord around his wrist as tight as I could and then just glued the end. So as if it's pressed under right at the farthest point, so it keeps it really tight around. Another thing, this section will not fucking stay closed and it's pissing me off. I don't know why it's got to be open because I'm sure that uh, mine inside there or uh, explosive, whatever it is, it don't come out anyway, so why does this keep popping open? So that nipple underneath there 
is having some glue on it in a minute and it's getting shut down so it'll stay there because I'm not having that fucker wafting about making me angry. So that is what I'm going to do. I'd normally do the review first so you guys see it stock and then I would do any modifications that I want to do. But I'm going to do it first on this one. I nearly did it before I actually put it on. But I thought, no, I'll give the figure a chance. I'm going to put the shoulder armour on and the tactical vest and see what it looks like. It does look awesome, as you can see. But I think it'll look even better with the, uh, the matching gold shoulders. And that, my friends, is done. So like I said, I'd already done the straps. Just pull them round as tight as they can get, obviously, so you can still move the arm. But it will bring in, give the wrist the uh, definition it needs, so you can see where the hand ends and the arm starts. And then just put a tiny, tiny little blob of glue on end. That's what I did, just to, as if it were a press stud, close the uh, wristbands in on themselves. Glued that closed because it was pissing me off, kept popping open. Again, just a tiny little uh, dab of glue in there. That's what I've done. And also the work on the eagle on that shoulder and the armour on that part. Again, like I just said, just uh, highlighted it with a sharpie. Really easy to do if you've got any ounce of art and then just sort of scrub it back down. Try and do it so it's only on the raised sections. Let's just get him turning. Like I said, some might just prefer the nearly black that comes with. But uh, when I think of Judge Dredd, I see him with the gold and I know it were less so in this film but I've just done it for personal preference so now the uh, the golds on the belt buckle the uh, helmet the dread badge and the uh, shoulder guards is a very similar shade now let's let him come around I'll look quite close looking fresh as fuck and I say fresh as fuck tell me if you prefer it or if you'll be leaving yours alone I can understand because it does look awesome regardless, but uh, like I said, I knew when I saw the uh, early, like the stock shots, people started receiving it. I thought, I'm sure that looks darker than the prototype shots, and that was one of the things I really liked about it. I thought, but it's not too hard, it's just a little bit of, uh, bit of dry wash. But like I said, I thought when I tested the Sharpie and I thought, oh, it's come out quite good, that. Like I said, on the middle section here, I'd done, and then it was just a matter of sort of doing the raised sections and then. Um, just wear cotton bud to be honest. Just dab in warm water at the end. If he if it's looking too strong, just really scrub it hard. So what it does is it spreads the gold around. So yep, I like it. Let me know your thoughts. If you think it uh, look good, says so. If you don't uh, like it, you can say so as well. But this is a Clipper King, and I am out of here.